Okay, so just a quick look into what I'm already working on. So this is the uh, blanket I was on about that I was knitting squares for and I was meant to be knitting a square a day because these are small so it shouldn't be that hard but yeah, I've literally only done 10. <laughs> I've only done 10 so I have so much to catch on, up on because we're in March uh, which means what, I should have about 90? 90, 90 odd squares done? Uh, yeah. Or close to 90 anyways. So yeah, I think I've got a, I have about another 80. I'm going to say another 80 to do and make that a square 90 there. <laughs> but yeah, I'm a little far behind on that one. So that's one project I am working on. This is the second one I'm working on. Um, I want to crochet a blanket. And I, I, my local deals is the only place I've seen this wool. Um, so this purple and then this and it is so nice to work with it really is so nice to work with now because I'm a beginner crocheter I'm still just doing the normal like the singular um stitch um if that's what's called I still need to learn the the names but yeah um so I finished a full roll of the purple on that one and then now I'm working on this one and deals is the only place that has that Pacific wool and um they have none of the purple left and none of this left and I don't know what to do next so yeah I'm gonna keep uh, crocheting until I've run out of this one I'm actually putting it on as a border now as well until I have the same thickness around the whole thing and then maybe I'd be able to kind of do a block kind of crocheted blanket where you know I'm um, like with this I use two different molds and then if I can get this kind of wool again but in different colors I can add on to it. So I'm hoping that's where I'm going to go with the, with the next part of it. But this is another project I am working on. I do this in most evenings, especially when I'm stressed because uh, for some reason crocheting, it relaxes me. Okay, it's so calming and I love it. So yeah, this is what I'm working on right now. These are pretty much just supplies I am working with. Um, Now I know what you're all, these are beginner uh, knitting needles, but I like the thickness of them. And the small form for the squares I'm knitting, um, like for these squares, uh, don't mind the nail polish. I need to touch up, um. But these are what I'm working with. I love these knitting needles for the squares, so I have not uh gone from them too much, uh, because look. They are flexy, flexy. Can you actually see the bend on that right there? I find them perfect, especially sitting on the couch and just knitting squares while watching TV. I'm actually watching um this at the moment. Um The Girl Who Escaped the Cara Robinson story. Um I'm actually watching that right now and just watch it, okay? It's it's actually really, really good. Um this was the first crochet crochet hook I bought. Uh so this is my the the one I began and the one I kind of self taught myself on crocheting. Um so I bought this and then I was watching YouTube and I got loads of crochet tutorials from that. But then my friend Cassie sent me a little clip of how she's crocheting and I pretty much learned from that. Next I bought these and um, it was like a bunch of them and this is one of them here. I use this for a lot of things at the moment because she's long. All right, so that's that's one. Now I bought all of these off Sheen. I bought them all off Sheen or whatever people call it um I bought a pack of them they were only 150 um I do have a chunky one I'm actually I actually knitted a rainbow hat if you see check out my shorts you'll see that but yeah um yeah these are so handy like especially these ones so I want to actually crochet another hat but a little smaller because that one was a bit too big for Shauna's head but yeah these are my supplies at the moment oh and I have the these ones. Uh, it only cost me two euro. Now there was two in it. The other one is somewhere. But yeah, I freaking love this. I love these. I love them so much. But yeah, that's what I'm working with right now. Here is another crochet hook. It's a little smaller. Um, so yeah.
this is my favourite place to stop off and have like a quick cup of tea and I tried out one of their new scones it's apple and cinnamon and when I say oh my god I mean oh my god Okay, so I did a little bit of a haul of yarn and of course some new little bits for all the bits I'm gonna end up. I'm actually really happy because this is the first time I've seen these in that shop. I had to I bought my first set of these uh from Shin and they were bamboo ones. These are metal and they are 4.5 and they were only 280 for these. Like, look, oh my god, I'm so happy, okay? And then I got a crochet hook. This was two euro, and it's a tree moon. Yep, yeah, tree. And I've seen these everywhere, and I kind of really wanted to buy one for ages. But yeah, so I bought a huge crochet hook. I bought a whole set of needles. This was only two euro as well. So we've got, like, even the big uh, wool ones for me to, you know, sew everything together. Uh, so I'm happy with that and then I got this as well it's another crochet hook and this is uh what well this is a seven this is a seven a seven look there we go seven years now I already have a bunch of crochet hooks that I got off Shane now obviously because they're plastic they I've already broken one and um, that's how much I love to crochet I kind of wore her out a bit too much but this is a seven milliliter one uh, which means I can definitely crochet a lot more stuff. But yeah, this is the needles and stuff I invested in, in my local better buys. So I've got the circular needles. The ones I already have, as you know, are bamboo. So these are metal. So I can't wait to actually try these out. And I got some more of these and two new crochet hooks, which I'm really happy about. Okay, on to my yarn haul. So as you can tell by over there, I already have, this is all of the yarns that I use, uh, sorry, that I use downstairs. Um, and you can see my squares there at the top and the project I am working on just here at the end. And then of course my other project is upstairs. So let's, the yarn haul. Okay. So I've got this color. I liked it for the thickness. I have got another one of these. Uh, somewhere I did find some yarn that I had bought previously so I added it to the new uh, yarn haul so this is yarn I forgot I had so here's a grey and uh, she is where here we go can we zoom in up on this one okay uh, there we go so she takes a five millimeter uh, crochet hook or five or five and eight needles and there is the yoke I was using the 10 by 10 which is 24 yours. Rose, okay, that's a bit different than the other wool, but okay. And then I have the rainbow wool. I've got a few of these as well. And she is also very, very small in measurements. So four millimeters in knitting needles, and that's the same with a crochet hook, or if you're going by UK sizes, it's an eight. Okay, so I have a few of them. Oh, if my phone will let me see, there you go. Um. I have a few of them. I made a coin purse. Um, as you can tell, I made a coin purse out of this. I just have to buy clasps. But yeah, there's my rainbow wool. And then I also forgot I had a white one. So I'm showing you the wool I already have. I forgot I had. And I have this beautiful color here. And obviously, you'll recognize this wool. This is wool I had left over from knitting the jumper. Um, so I have that left over, which I will be making something floofy with. I have some of the purple fluff left. Oh, embroidery thread. Give me that, please. Yes, guys, I am also learning how to embroider and do cross stitch. So, yeah, I'm trying lots of stuff this year. And, okay, so here's the new colours I got today. So, I got this beautiful colour. As you can tell by over there, I already have it. There you go. I already have it, but I wanted to get another one because... I am loving these pastel colors at the moment and I got another yellow because I'm I'm loving the daisies at the moment so this is perfect this was meant to be me finding the white wool I want to make more daisies I'm obsessed with daisies at the moment if you cannot tell by my bag 
I am absolutely obsessed with daisies. This is a new colour I got. I have not gotten this colour yet. So I got two of her. I got two. There you go. There's my yarn haul. <laughs> I only bought four new ones, but I bought loads of new crochet hooks. So yeah, that's what I do for downtime. Okay. Bear with me. The first things first is, um, for the whole month of April, I will be working on the knitted blanket that I want to do because I want to start the Ron Weasley uh, crochet blanket. Um, I have done my swatch on how big I want to do the, the squares and I have the swatch for it. Now, I don't know if I'm going to go as big as this, but Oh my god, this literally only took me like uh, 40 minutes to whack out one square. Can you imagine how many squares I could get done um, if I just took a whole entire day, which is one of the things I'm going to do. For the whole month of April, I'm going to try and get all of the squares done for the knitted uh, blanket that I am doing. So I'm doing a knitted blanket. I'm also doing a crochet blanket, as you would have seen earlier on. I showed the squares, um, the little squares. I am... Um, going to take a whole entire day. So today is uh, Wednesday and this video will be going out on Sunday. Um, next Wednesday, of course, because it's a two week Easter break, um, I will have a little bit more time to kind of, you know, plan videos and make sure that they're out. But for the whole month of April, because it's also planting season and um, you will see my, um, I cleared out a patch and everything of my garden. Um, so that video will be going up on next Wednesday and then you're going to get to see the process as well because we're going to kind of do a whole little garden area at the back. See we have concrete in our backyard, we don't have grass which oh, I really want grass, I love grass. Um, so we're, pl we're plotting out a whole patch just for myself and Shauna to create a beautiful outdoor um, get, like nexus as you could say. Um, so we will be working on that, of course, um, for the month of April and with the two weeks off for uh, their uh, term, yeah, midterm break. So um, she gets two weeks off for Easter break, the whole lot. So I will be popping two videos a week up of a Wednesday and a Sunday. And people will know this by watching this video because I haven't announced it anywhere else yet. But yeah, um, we will be uploading twice a week for the month of April, just for the month of April. Um, where we'll be doing spring planting. I'm going to be starting my uh, vegetable patch very soon. And um, I will show you exactly what I have for the vegetables. So I am going to be planting some croquettes, carrots, onions, cabbage, broccoli and beetroot. And I have the dates of when these should be planted, which is March, April. Um, if this is for sowing indoors, I might be, I'm a little bit late for the carrots. Um, but I can, oh no, actually I'm not, I can still sew them outdoors. It's awesome. I have a little guide at the back. And then the other one is cucumbers, tomatoes, uh, cre crease, crease, um, cress. I don't know how, I'm not, I'm not saying it properly. Uh, spring onions, radishes, and of course, lettuce. Who doesn't like lettuce? So these are, I'll be starting these. I'm doing the whole germination process at the moment, which you'll see in this video that me and Sean, I did plant some giant sunflowers and my niece popped in she's in the background as well so you're going to see my little sky as well she's absolutely the best kid ever a freaking lover you cannot be sad around her she makes you so happy she's just such a happy child okay awesome job mom and dad but on the friday from the time she leaves the house um till the time she comes home i am going to try and whack out as many of these as i can right now i was able to whack out two yesterday uh, just because I kept getting distracted, if I focus, um, I could probably get about 10, 20 done a day if I focus. So I have set myself a challenge uh, for this Friday and this video will go out uh, separately. Um, but this is just all the videos that are coming up. So you're going to have two videos a week for the month of April. And a lot of it will be spring planting, uh, spring adventures. Um, because the weather is starting to kind of change, oh, thank God, a little bit now. It's not as wet. Um, no more snow. Um, we are starting to get a bit of spring sun. So I want to kind of get out and do stuff as much as I can with that weather. Um, so I'm going to try and whack out as many of these as I can on 
this coming Friday and I'm hoping by the end of April I will have all of the squares together. I'm going to um, sew them together using my darning needle but then I want to crochet all around the blanket so they are being knitted but then I want to crochet around um, the outside of the blanket as well. So I have all of the wool I need to finish off these squares. As soon as that blanket is finished, I will probably only take a break for about a week and then I'm going to be knocking out my Ron Weasley uh, blanket. There is two different ways to do it. I'm going to link it in the description as well. You can knit it. Um, and then I seen that someone had actually crocheted one as well and it was beautiful. It looks so beautiful that I'm like, because I'm a little obsessed with crochet at the moment, self-taught uh, crochet. Um, I want to learn how to do the granny squares, um, but that's... I'm. That, I'm going to need a little bit more help with the crocheting of the granny squares. But right now I'm just doing the beginner of the crocheting and I want to knit the Ron Weasley, not knit, crochet the Ron Weasley blanket. Um, I also am crocheting another blanket. You've seen that as well in the earlier of the video. That is going to be like a long term kind of goal. I want to have it for autumn of this year. So I've got months to get this done, which is awesome. I was going to try and crochet a spring kind of Eastery blanket, like I did loads of pastel colours and I just kind of got a square because it was taking forever and I'm like, okay, I'm still a beginner. I kind of have to give myself a little bit of a break when it comes to that. But yeah, so that's the, the projects that are in line right now and the upcoming videos, of course, are going to be a lot of gardening, creating our outdoor garden space um, because I'm hoping the summer will be a little bit better this year um, weather wise. Um, I'm going to be also kind of investing in a proper swimming pool, uh, like the ones that you can, it, that comes with a cover, the whole lot. And like, maybe a lot of people have these. I don't. We have been buying cheap swimming pools for the past couple of years and they don't, they don't even last the whole summer. I want to have a proper pool that comes with a cover that we can keep up, um, all summer long that you could buy a pump with them. I found one on Argos and because Argos is actually leaving Ireland, um, I'm devastated. I love Argos so much. Um, I've noticed that they have a, have got a pool, a nice proper one that comes with a pump and the whole lot and it's actually pretty affordable. So I will be getting that this year. Along with, you know, the artificial grass panels that you get? Yeah, well, that. I'm not going to say too much about it as well because you're going to get to see this as time goes on, how we're progressing with our little outdoor nexus. Um, so for the whole month of April, it will be getting the flowers planted, the uh, doing the gardening, um, setting up the garden space, as well as me knitting and crocheting myself into a nice comfy little um bubble. But yeah, guys, I'm so I am so sorry again that the videos have not been as frequent as um a lot of you would like. I am gonna try and get back to um uploading once week. I'm sorry there's just so much noise and busyness outside so I'm hoping none of it gets picked up on the camera um but yeah I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing um Sunday and of course it's also going to be the 2nd of April when this video goes up so I want to say happy April and I hope you guys have an absolutely amazing um oh, well if your spring has started already awesome okay so have an amazing Sunday and anyone who has been following me from the start will know that we are coming up to my sister's one year um, anniversary. She will be dead one year on the 3rd of April. Uh, so <clears throat> by the time you see this, of course, uh, it will, uh, her anniversary will be the day after. So any of you uh, that would have known her would have known that she was a massive supporter of this channel. She is the reason I created this channel and why I wanted to continue doing it. I did take a very, very long break after she passed because I couldn't find the motivation to keep going. But um, I have found the motivation and I want to use the last part of this video to kind of do um, a reel of my sister Louise. And um, I also want to thank everybody who has reached out um, over the past year when they found out about her death. And I appreciate your support so, so much. So, Without me and nattering on for a little while, I hope you guys have an amazing uh, Sunday. And here is the the yolk for my well, the yolk. Um, here is the thing for my sister. <laughs>